Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Rene. Very good morning to all of you who've just joined us. Now, the mass media is full of images that portray people from all different walks of life. But how many of those are based on stereotypes? In particular, the South African entertainment industry has been criticized for beaming images of African models with Western features such as synthetic straight hair and light skin. What role does the media have to play in projecting authentic, positive African imagery? Now, to talk about this, we are joined in studio by Ayabulela Poro, who's the project editor and researcher at the Media Monitoring Africa. Very good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. for joining us. Thank you for having me. What is the responsibility today of uh, the mass media on the African continent, but particularly here in South Africa, in enforcing positive images of Africans? It's, it's a great responsibility, and especially because uh, um, academics who have studied this issue suggest that um, media, especially news media, do not just present race, but that they participate in racializing, um, and by extension, um, giving us explanation um, about certain races and stereotyping certain races when they have the capacity. So then, um, considering our colonial and very oppressive past, particularly here in South Africa, it is then a great responsibility on journalists to make sure mm. that they are aware of how um, black people particularly have been portrayed in the past, how problematic that is, and how to then look for alternatives that will ensure that mm. they are portrayed in a much more positive um, way. Does the media here in South Africa, does it, does it feed on, on racial stereotypes in, in order to sell, to sell whatever they're selling uh, to, uh, to, to, to viewers or, or users in today's world? An argument can be made for that. Um, and especially when you look at uh, advertising within mass media, but also news media. So news media has tended in the past to sort of capitalize on a traumatic um, black experience. Mm -hmm. um, it has capitalized on the suffering of black people. Say for instance, there is a tragedy or a disaster in mm. a certain African country. Um, we've of often seen uh, pictures of uh, black people who are suffering in those images. Um, and those are used to sort of sensationalize the experience and an argument can be made that they're also used to then sell newspapers if we're talking about print media. Yeah. Um, advertising has also done it um, in some parts. Um, so sort of taking a narrow experience mm. of, the, um, of the lived experiences of black people and giving us a sort of one-sided or narrow view yeah. of black people. Um, I don't think it takes much to, to think back to, mm. to those moments where we've seen images of a particular black woman of a mm. certain size who's loud, yeah. um, being constantly used in the media to sell products. So I think definitely an argument can be made. What, what about, well, we're living in the time of the weave and skin lightness and, and these kinds of things. Uh, what is the research saying about the way about how Africans are being portrayed right now uh, in the mass media? Okay, so we've done our own research also in the past, mm. but particularly looking at news media um, and the coverage when it comes to, to black people. And what we've seen from that is that media coverage tends to support certain propositions mm. about black people. Um, for instance, that black people, particularly men, are criminals, um, that they are irrational, that black foreigners um, pose a threat to, to South African society. Yeah. Um, and that lastly, that black lives do not matter. And then we've seen this in instances, for instance, mm. um, where you've had, again, tra tragedies or disasters, yeah. and the sort of strewn images and the careless thought that's given to how those black bodies are treated within the news coverage. That is shocking to hear that that is the case, actually. Something needs to be done. What do we do about that? How do we change that narrative? Okay, it's a, it's a collective re responsibility. Um, I think that falls um, not only on media practitioners, but also media um, institutions themselves. And again, taking into account how problematic mm. um, our past has been when it comes to, to portraying um, 
black people in, in the media. Now, there are certain authors who have also um, spoken about uh, creating a new so, sort of self-identity mm. for, for black people. And I think that's the route that we need to be taking. We need to take stock Mm -hmm. of the problematic ways in which black people have been portrayed in the media and we need to start uh, critically thinking about uh, creative ways uh, to, to offer alternative, alternatives to, to those images. Is the, is the entertainment industry and, and, the, and let's call it the beauty industry, is it, is it still racist? Do we see, uh, do, or do we see more black women on covers of magazines for instance now? I think when you look at these things, you, you can say that there has been a, a gradual improvement, mm. um, but at the same time, there is still a long way to, to go. There's a long way to go within the black community in, in sort of gaining back that, um, that confidence in how we see ourselves. Um, and then also then having that portrayed within the media space. Obviously, we've only been in this democracy for only 20 years. Mm. We're talking about um, a history of 100 years where we've been told how black people should look, um, how black people are, are not worthy and so forth. Yeah. So I think it's going to take a bit more time to undo all of that, but I think it's certainly happening gradually. And we all have a responsibility to to add to the discourse, I suppose. Exactly. It's Thank a collective you. Responsibility. Thank you very much for joining us. Aya, Aya Bulela Poro is the project editor and researcher at the Media Monitoring, uh, Media Monitoring Africa, and of course, we're talking about the role of the media. Yes, we are just as guilty in the media, and I think some sectors of our media is especially guilty of the kind of stereotypes that we, well, that we constantly see. Thank you very much for, for, for joining us.